Hi everyone, my name is Giovanna Proença and today we're going to talk about how to set up your environment for doing the course Web3 of Free Code Camp. So basically this Web3 of Free Code Camp is a new course that they are releasing and this course we're going to learn how to work with blockchain concepts. So basically we're going to work with these five projects in here, all right? And then in the end we're going to have a really good knowledge on how to work with blockchains and so on. And we're also going to have uh, projects to use in our portfolio, so this course seems to be really good. In order to access these projects and in order to manipulate and code, we have to follow these uh, steps in here in order to access them and code. Okay, so basically the idea here is to do the setup for this environment and in the next videos we're gonna solve the problems of this course. Okay, so let's just start. Basically, first we have to install this Docker in Gin. So if you click in here, it's gonna open up a new page and basically this Docker will allow us to uh, work with our project, okay, to see what is going on when we're changing uh, things in our code. Okay. Okay, so to do this, you can click here in install. It will redirect you to this install part. If you're working with Linux, you should install this link. If you're working with Mac, you should install this link. And if you're working with Windows, you should install the third link. Since I'm working with Mac, I will click in here and I will click in here with Apple Chip. Okay, and I will allow this to download. Once I download, I will get back to this video and we see the next steps. So once we download, you can click here in your downloads and click in the icon that you just downloaded. All right, in my case, I will drag and drop because I'm using Mac, but in Windows, you don't need to do this step. Now it's gonna copy your Docker for your apps. Okay, and then once it, we do this, I will get back again. So once you're able to download Docker, you should uh, open up here to click to open this app and you should see this screen here and this means that it's working. Now we're we're gonna wait this to start and while we're waiting we're gonna continue doing the other steps so now that we have docker in our computer we're gonna install vs code all right so vs code is the name for is the abbreviation for visual studio code that is an environment where we're gonna write our code uh, during this project and this is a really uh, common environment that people use to code not even for this project but other ones CS50 they also tell us to use and here again you just need to click in what is the system that you have and it will download for you okay so I will download download right now and I will open up the VS Code to show you how it works. So now that we install VS Code, this is what we have in here. Basically, you can click in this Get Started to know what you have to do. But basically, you can open up a folder, you can start creating files and folders, you can start creating uh, any file in programming that you want in here and you can manipulate. Or you can clone a repository using Git from your GitHub. So this is something we're going to install in the future. But right now, let's just focus on downloading everything and then actually getting the project to us. All right. Now we need to install this remote containers extension. So if you click in here, it will open up this dev containers uh, extension you can click in install continue and we're gonna allow to install in our VS code so it will bring us to this page and you can click install and basically we're gonna open any folder or repository inside of a docker container and take advantage of this all right so basically now we're allowing our VS code to be connected with our docker then the last step that we have to do right now it's installing git so git is a it's a command that we normally use when we want to send our local files so files that are in our computer to a cloud and normally the cloud we call github so we use this git commands to send the files from our computer to the cloud for example if you're in in another scenario if you want to think about if you want to upload a word file in your google drive this is kind of the same idea we want to upload our code into the cloud that we call github and to do this you can search for git install and we're going to click here in downloads git and then you can select again what is the operation operating system that you're using and then you can follow so for example here in my code I'm in my computer I'm using Mac OS so here we have to install this homebrew if we don't have it and here we just need to copy this line all right and I'm gonna go here on terminal new terminal and I will add in here the link for the homebrew it's asking me for my password I'm sending in here I'm going to click enter to continue and right now it's installing this homebrew this homebrew will allow us to install things in our terminal especially using Mac Okay, so we're just using an intermediate system to allow us to import to install things in our computer. Okay, and once it's installed, we can install our Git. So once we finish this part, what am I gonna do? I will click here to go back to where we were and I'm gonna copy this command git uh, brew install git. Let's just wait here to finish. Now that we finish uh, installing here, we're gonna install this bro install git to install git in our computer. And then we're kinda, we have everything settled down. So we start running the commands that you're gonna see in here. There are the next steps. 
So basically, once we run everything, we have to run the course in Docker. So we're going to do all these steps in the Docker app that we just downloaded, and we will be able to see the projects we have in our hands. All right, so I'll be right back again. So now let's do the following. We're going to clone this repo here. If we take a look this repo and we open up, it's the repository where we contain all the projects we're going to work on Freecode Camp in here. They kind of give you some explanation of how it works and so on. So we're going to clone. This is the first step we need to do. To do this, we're going to use this git clone and we have to copy this the link of the github repository we want to clone so here we're going to paste this and it will clone for us so cloning remote blah blah, blah. it's going to download what it's cloning then we're going to download the repository we have in our cloud and we're going to have this now in our computer okay how can you see this so here if i click open folder we're going to find now the repository that we just downloaded okay i just need to find in here where it is so here if we click open folder it will appear this web3 curriculum and we have all the projects that we're gonna work so now if you open up it will appear here in your sidebar okay let's wait a little bit you can say that you trust the authors the RVS code will always ask you this because uh since you're downloading from the internet it's gonna check if you really want to download this or not all right now we're gonna navigate to this curriculum we already did and we're gonna open it in the vs code using the code dot so if i click in here new terminal here it's saying reopen in container i'm gonna do this reopening container as well all right and it's going to start opening here we're do, using the extension dev containers to kind of create a connection with our docker this is where we're going to run our projects and so on it takes a little bit of time to uh want to rebuild everything to use the dev container if you see in here i used the the log part and it took me about i'm not sure but it took me a while to install everything all right so don't worry now that we have this in our hands what we have to do we have to do this next step rebuild container you're gonna see that once you install Oh, you, you open it up uh, after our last step you have to click here in dev container it will appear this dev container for you and we can click here in rebuild container this is the thing that they are telling us to do rebuild container so it will take us some time to rebuild and once we rebuild we're gonna reopen so here it's opening remote and we're gonna wait a little bit of time again okay because right now we're using the extension of Docker. So now we're making this relationship between our VS Code and the Docker. So let's wait in here. It will take us some time again. And once we finish, I will be right back. So after you install in here, right, after you do this part of that I, we did previously, I had some problems because I wasn't finding the things that they mentioned during the, the install, the part of installing things. And I figured it out that we have to do one extra step if you're facing the same issue, if you're not able to find this free code camp run courses. So what do you have to do? In, for some cases, uh, the, the, the extension for free code camp is not installed in your Docker. So you have to click in here in extensions, you search for free code camp and you click to install and then install in your container. Once you install in your container, you're gonna be able to search in the command palette right now. If I do free code camp, it will appear for me the run course. That is something that wasn't appearing before. And then now we're able to check what is going on. All right, so now if I shrink this part, it will open up for me the browser. And right now it's a blank page. So it's telling us it will take a moment. So now we're gonna wait a little bit and it will open uh, a simple browser when it's done. If it's blank white page, use the refresh button to update and save the courses page so let's here update or i can also click in open in the browser and we can see if something happens so now finally <laughs> i spent like a, a lot of time to see what is going on and here now we have the projects in our hands okay so now it's in here where we're going to uh, work with the projects we're gonna get what we're gonna work with okay we're gonna see what is the requ requirement for this project and how we're gonna work we can see here that we are, have already a lot of coming soon right Right? and this other ones integrated project we can start working with the integrated projects not the coming soon so we're gonna start in the next video working with this build a video game marketplace blockchain okay so this is pretty much what we have to do if you have any questions send here on the comment because this is a little bit tricky they expect us to have some things installed but we don't and like we, we, we saw in my solution I had a little problem in solving that it wasn't exactly what is written in here but we were able to fix okay another thing that you can also install in here in your extension you can install uh, the free code camp dark theme you can install other things other extensions you want but this free code camp courses is the one that you need to run your code okay so like I mentioned before this is pretty much what we have for this first video the next video we're gonna work with actually building the project if you have any questions again send here in the comment if you enjoyed this content please give us a thumbs up
subscribe to our channel and I hope to see you in the next video. Bye bye. If you would like to have full support from programming expert via Telegram group and group coaching, check the description below.